December will perhaps be remembered for a succession of winter storms that brought rain, very high winds and some disruption to the UK. This was the windiest December in records from 1969 and one of the windiest calendar months since January 1993. On Christmas Eve, a mean sea level pressure of 936 hectopascals was recorded at Stornoway in the Western Isles, the lowest such value at a UK land station possibly since the 1880s. Looking at the statistics for the month as a whole, the provisional mean temperature was 5.7 degrees Celsius, which is 1.8 degrees above the 1981 to 2010 average, provisionally the warmest December since 1988. The highest temperature of the month was 16.6 degrees Celsius, recorded at Castley Sutherland on the 10th, and the lowest was minus 6.1 at Dalwini Highland on the 7th. Overall, it was a wet month with 154% of average precipitation. Two broad areas, one over southern and southeast England and the other extending from the Lake District to Highland, Scotland, saw many places receiving twice the normal rainfall for the month. Scotland had its wettest December in a series going back to 1910. However, some parts of eastern England were drier than average. In the 24 hours ending 0900 on the 24th, 73.6 millimetres of rain fell at Castley, Sutherland. The UK received 108% of average hours of bright sunshine. The highest wind gust recorded was 109 miles per hour at Aberdaran, Gwynedd, late on the 26th. A snow depth of 20 centimetres was measured at Kindrogan, Perthshire on the 23rd. We'll now take a closer look at the weather that defined December. The first few days of the month were mostly fine over England and Wales, but less so for Scotland and Northern Ireland. A major winter storm on 5th brought gales and heavy rain with a gust of 93 miles per hour at Altnahara, Sutherland on 5th. As the low moved across the North Sea, it pushed water south and resulted in highly damaging storm surges for North Sea coastal areas. There were some spells of finer weather during the first few weeks, with a high pressure centre located to the southeast. The first half of the month was also mild, particularly for Scotland and Northern Ireland. The situation broke down on the 14th to become much more unsettled, with severe gales causing further flooding and disruption to Scotland on the 14th and 15th. Another deep low pressure system brought heavy rain and very strong winds to much of the UK overnight of the 18th to 19th of December and a gust of 94 miles per hour was recorded at Needles Old Battery on the Isle of Wight on the 18th. Another deep Atlantic low pressure system brought strong winds and heavy rain to much of the UK from 23rd to 24th of December bringing 60 to 70 millimetres of rain to the high grounds of southern England. Further spells of very strong wind and heavy rain caused further disruption through the remainder of December, particularly through the 26th to 27th and 29th to 30th. Here are some of your December weather pictures you sent in. Send in your pictures of January's weather through Twitter and you could feature in next month's summary video.